Hey everyone, welcome to one of our mask lessons. This is a full lesson, teaching in Zoom. I'm doing this on my own, and it is hard. And this is for my students. It's for my students who like might be behind, right? So they could catch up. <clears throat> so I have my attendance right here. I'm gonna log y'all in. Okay, stick with me, scrub forward if you need help. Okay, we're getting ideas for our mask project. We're enhancing our project today. Hey, Brian. What's up, man? How's it going? Kyla. Kyla, you get your supplies in the mail? Jose Rojas. Liking where your mask is going? Mr. Martinez. Mr. Martinez, haven't heard from you in a while. You gonna talk to me today? Hey, D'Angeli. Leslie, so happy to see you on time. Hey, thanks for saying hi back. Leslie, so excited to see your mask. Oh my goodness. Rafa, don't leave in the middle of class, okay, Rafa? Stick with me, be on the near potify. Sinai. Hey, Sinai, send me those identity box photos. Mr. Bloss, how's it going? Mr. Bloss, what's up? America. Hey, America. Amanda, can't wait to see your art, Amanda. Hi, Miss Papera. Oh my gosh, hey. Hey, are we BFFs or what? We're BFFs. She's gonna do her final art project. It's gonna be good. Here comes Shirley. Shirley, 12th grader, your mask is fire. Alexis Diaz, talking about mask enhancements today. It's gonna be awesome. How we're gonna make our mask better, y'all. How are we gonna do those promise slides? Hi, Anthony, I need to see a mask from you. Hi, Cesar. We have a lot of people still coming in. Make sure you're logged in on Nearpod and you have the deck open. Make sure you have your art supplies out. We got Samaya coming into the house. All right, y'all. Oh, still more people coming in. Thanks for being here on time. So good, so good when y'all on time, I love it. Okay, here we go, guys. Rock and roll. I mean, it is so, I'm so excited for these promises. Ooh, with the masks, they're looking good. Okay, just why is this not clicking? Okay, great. So um, here we are. Thank you everyone who's logged in. We got a whole like four people. America's logged in right away. Woo! Love it, America, you go. You get those points. Stephanie, Alexis is coming into the party. Really great. Remember the link is always on Google Classroom. What kind of paper was used in step one when y'all first cutting the paper? That is newsprint or newspaper. The whole mask is made out of newspaper. Thank you, Kyla. Kyla, I'm gonna give you points for asking clarifying questions. Way to go, Kyla. It's all about asking questions, guys. That's the secret to learning. You just ask. I'm gonna tell you right here. Okay, thank you everyone who's logged into Nearpod. Anyone can help me out and like drop that link? for people who got lost. Everything, everything you need is on your Google Classroom. I'm just going to the right tab. Okay, so here we go. Google to the class, and you can find everything you need, including the Nearpod, including today's deck, lesson 14. So check it out. I want you to draw on here. Good morning, Alvaro. Need to see everyone on Nearpod. Looping everyone in. So here's the Nearpod link. Nearpod. 
Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here's the deck. The deck is just filled with links to the rubric and video links. It really has everything you need for success. You just need to like read and deconstruct. So there is the deck right there. What a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing, people. I'm gonna sign in. I'm gonna lead by example and I'm gonna sign into my own Nearpod. Josue Santos, Josue, good morning. You gonna do some art today? Just finding your name so I can mark you present. It's one thing to log in, but are you gonna do art? Are you gonna do art? Don't give up. Don't give up. Okay, so we should be drawing. So here are the instructions. In red, label the different values. On the one on the left. On the right. No, there's no purple, my bad. In blue, circle the add-ons. Red values, blue add-ons, like constructed add-ons. Red, blue. Wait, I'm not making sense. Red values, and you can number them, like value one, like 10. Wow, that mask has a 10 value, and then it goes up to a two. So if you remember, like we assigned, like during the self-portrait unit, we assigned uh, numbers to values. Like the higher the number, the darker the value is, the lighter the value, the lighter the number, like the less the number. Okay, I'm gonna sign into my own Nearpod. Ryan, way to annotate. Look, D'Angeli's actually numbering, so cool. Juan's putting numbers. It looks like Alexis is circling and tracing. Right, so there are different values. Oh, and we're even like labeling the values on the one on the right. That's cool. Okay, really, really good. Thank you, Juan, for annotating right away. Awesome. Looking, watching what you do in live. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie's like labeling the add ons on the right. Are there add-ons on the one on the left? Don't get me wrong, the one on the left is super fly. And these are masks from this year, by the way. But are there add-ons on the one on the left? Do you guys see them? Or no, are there no add-ons on the one on the left? And are there different values on the one on the right? Like, are there different greens? Oh, you can curse in your promise, it's fine. There's not a lot. All right, so I don't know about you guys. Labeling in blue, I'm trying to lead by example. Where is everyone? I'm seeing add-ons on this one on the left. And guys, an add-on can be a metaphor, okay? Let's be very clear. So, like the unicorn, like this unicorn stick thing could represent a magical future, right? These things on the side could be wings. These triangles could be sun rays leaving the cave. So add-ons can be metaphors that lead to your promise. So let's just be clear. But I don't know, you guys see values in the one on the right? I only see like colors out of the bottle. What we all think. Can we unmute and talk about like which, like which mask has what and what the other one could learn from each other? Because they both have metaphors. Look, like the metaphors are painted on. Right, and I see like lights and darks and mediums of the same color, the painting's gorgeous. But could they get ideas from each other? Can anyone unmute and talk? How could they help each other out? Miss Hibbler is sadly no longer with us. So sad. Um, like she's okay. <laughs> she graduated, she's graduating this week. Okay, so D'Angeli says the black part on the right one uh, is the darkest value. True. But like D'Angeli, can you unmute and like, do you see different greens and different purples and all that? Can you unmute and talk? 
No, it's just one solid color. Right? Do we see a lot of solid colors? Yes. You see what I mean? Okay. So do you think it would be better if they had like, they took some blue and they had a lot of white and they had some light blue in there. Do you think it'd make it better? Yeah, I think it'd look cool. But I think it looks nice like that too. Oh, so would you tell them to make changes? I mean, it depends what type of changes because maybe a change could be a little too much. Mm -hmm. True, true. The, the, the best artist knows when to stop. However, there is a category on the rubric, guys, for painting techniques. So you got to check out that category, right? You want to take risks with painting too. So if you're trying to get a four in everything, like he could add different values to one on the right. Okay, talk to me about the one on the left. What does that one need? Come on, unmute. Guys, unmute. So write in the chat, what could they learn from each other? What does the one on the left mean? Unmute. Points for America. Points for D'Angeli. Oh, one mm -hmm. of them could learn using brighter colors and the other one could learn using better designs. Can you explain a little bit more America? A little bit more, talk to me a little bit more. Okay, number two could use like more like creative designs like number one has, but I feel like number one like needs more colors because it looks too like plain. Number one needs more colors? Yeah, I don't know. That's how I feel. I don't know if I'm right or not. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. When you say designs, do you mean like add-ons, like things constructed on like a wing or a horn or an ear? Is that what you mean, America? Kind of, but also like drawings. Like you see how number one has those little drawings around them? Uh-huh. And like you see how number two just has like the stuff around it. I feel like it kind of needs more designs in the face and that. The, okay, so more details painted on the face for number two. Does yeah. anyone agree or disagree with America? It's not bad to disagree. It's good. Guys, can you unmute? It's so much more exciting when you unmute. That was like the best moment of my day just then. What would you tell artists, the artist on the left? Or someone can unmute and just read what's happening in the chat. But I want to hear a student voice, student voice. Share your voice. Speak up. Stand up and tell them you're from AJR. Miss, most people are saying that the one on the left could use more add-ons. Oh, that's what they're saying? Yeah. So what right. would you guys, so what should he add? Uh, maybe horns would look cool. Or like, I don't know. What if, okay, D'Angeli, hold up. What if he said to you like, uh, uh, no, it's perfect. I don't want to mess up my painting job. Not that he talks like that. He does <laughs> not talk like that at all. I know who he is. He has a very sophisticated voice. But what would he, what would you say to him if he was like, no, the painting job's perfect. What would you say? I mean, yeah, it does look great. He doesn't necessarily need add-ons because it looks pretty good like that. But um, it could help with more points, I guess. Yes. Direct him to the rubric, right? Which is so frustrating. It's this like philosophical dilemma, grading art. But we could always grow. We could always get better. If you look at the rubric, you get more force. Because I give you a summative grade for every category in the rubric. Right? Because anything can always get better. You know? And I mean, some people are making two masks. Like they like break one and they make a second one. They're like, I want to make it even better. So what is my message to everyone? Make your mask better this week. It's not bad, but most of us didn't do add-ons, right? Like we like skipped that part. Maybe it's, it was my teaching or you guys were confused or we weren't clear, but people kind of like didn't do the add-ons. So you could go back and do the add-ons. Can you paint over acrylic paint? Like, could you fix it? Could could the person on the left add horns and stuff and then paint over it? Yes. That is the beautiful, magical thing about acrylic paint. You could have as many layers as possible on that sucker. 
Oh, Stephanie, are you coming to Animal Voices? It's on Thursday. It features your. Uh, it's yeah. Stephanie, you were going to talk. Oh, uh, yeah. Make sure you come. Are you invited? Do you have the Zoom link? Uh, yeah, I do. They sent it to me twice. I know. They've been like, where's Stephanie? Guys, give us Stephanie some zero ones in the chat. She's being honored by Green Dot this week for her art. Woo! Woo! Go Barry and Six. We awesome. We win in the Animal Voices. What up? Leslie, you were so close. You were so close to like killing that sucker and getting placing too, Leslie. We got some super fly artists. We got some brilliant people in the house. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep rocking and rolling. So based on this, what are your next steps? Can you unmute or write in the chat? What are your next steps? Are you gonna add more values? Are you gonna add more add-ons? Can we write some next steps in the chat? Finishing. D'Angeli has ugly cry tears of joy. Tears are a common metaphor, by the way. Improve my mask, but how? Right in the chat. So I want us to go back and look at some of the old examples because so much of the magic in a project happens at the end. It happens in the last couple of phases of the project, right? And we can go back, because I showed you these at the beginning of the unit, and now maybe you're like, oh, you have some ideas. So let's talk about add-ons first. So it says circle add-ons in purple. So let's use blue, because I don't see a purple. So I, I mean, look at all these add-ons. I gotta make more flowers miss. Oh. Oh, guys, no one has emailed me about these. If you wanna pick these up, like if anyone wants to come, because normally at this time of the year, people are raiding my classroom and finding stuff and they're to glue on their mask. If you want to like come by school and you want me to prep a bag of these, because these could symbolize growth, right? You could put these around your mask. So let me know. I have extras. You see? So let me know. Okay. So what was I talking about? Oh yeah, add-ons. So guys, check it out. Look, these eyebrows are covered in the jewels, right? And eyebrows, like you can use like things to build eyebrows. That could show a lot of detail. Again, you could use cardboard for ears. And you know, the horns are just so effective, right? They're visually interesting. And a horn doesn't have to mean evil. It could mean like a horn could symbolize a problem that is like bugging you in your cerebral cortex and you just wanna leave it behind. What did I do for the horns or the eyebrows? Samia, I haven't heard your voice today, Samia. Unmute. Oh, no, I was talking to D'Angelo about the mask. Oh, you guys are talking to each other, not me. <laughs> yeah. They say the question again. You guys care about each other more. It's good. What, ask your question one more time so we can all hear. Oh, what did she do for the back of her mask? Because I was like, I fell in love more with the back of my mask than the front. She's like, mine was cursed. And I'm like, well, what did you do for it? D'Angeli? Yeah, miss, mine dried weird, so it's all like, <laughs> like crusty, I guess. Oh my gosh, I want to see it. Can you turn on your camera and show it to us? Yeah, this is like the worst part of the mask. <laughs> no, like, guys, we lift each other up. We lift each other up. We help each other. Come on, show us your crusty mask. It'll give other people I'll make courage. A deal. If you show yours, I'll show the back of mine. Oh! 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 That's funny. Are we going to do it? The back of mine? I mean, here, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, camera on, Samia. She's doing it. We're showing our masks. We're taking off our masks. We're sharing our promises. We're changing, we're changing. We're becoming better people. We are lifting ourselves up out the cave, facing ourselves, changing the world. Oh yeah. Okay, are you turning your camera on? I, I was just rapping to like kill the dead silence. La 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 la. You guys aren't gonna turn on your cameras, are you? 
Are you going to go get it? Um, can you see it? Like, is it like the back? Of it? it doesn't look crusty to me. It looks like a cave. I think it, it it's just um, like the horns in the back. It's just so weird. <laughs> Well, I know, but it's good. I love it. Look how smooth it is because you use the mold. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, it's good. So the question was, what did she do to the back? You guys want to inspire each other? You could paint like a beautiful cave in the back. If you never did your allegory of the cave assignment or asked you to paint the cave, just paint the cave on the inside of your mask. Oh, that go hard. I use the jewels. You want to show us yours? You said you would show us yours, Samaya. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh! Nice! What do the numbers mean? Did you write numbers on the jewels? No, they're letters, like first name letters. For people? For people who have hurt me before, so they're like in the back of the mask. So, you know, like I'm trying to leave that behind. That's why I put it there. Oh my God, you want to talk about that like I'm doing your presentation, right? Of course. That's amazing. Guys, I got to give them points for um, turning it. Can we get us some twinkles in the chat? So like everyone, are we getting ideas? Have we been um, circling add-ons? Antonio started, but then he stopped. He started watching Samaya and D'Angeli take their, take their masks off. Okay, look. So notice like how we have some of the toilet paper rolls and like a crown up here. I really like the wings on this one. You could still add add-ons and I got, I like the sunfire, right? So thank you for annotating. I love this one with the sun rays, especially after Rita and Leslie's presentation, bending towards the sun. That go hard. We got a lot of stuff happening. Notice we have lips painted and we have X's. Notice here, look, we got all of these like forks pointing out. We got chains actually glued on. There's just so much you could do. Look, the beard could represent the past and misery. You build on eyebrows and horns and pointy things. Guys, there's so much you could do. Sky's the limit. Now, do we see different values? That is the mystery, is it? Is it not? Do we see different values? I don't know. I don't know if they, I don't know if my old students saw Miss Hibbler's painting videos, right? I don't know if I see different values. Do you guys see different values anywhere? Like lights and darks. Okay, I see light and dark blue there, right? You got all this dark blue. So I'm talking like the same colors, but lights and darks, the green man. Oh, I know. If you are looking at this and wondering why it looks so cool, it's because we have light and dark green all in one. So take a moment, catch up on your annotating, steal ideas, look at ways that you can enhance your mask. Steal ideas, so go ahead. Dun, dun, dun. Steal ideas. Talk to each other. Here we go. Here we go. All right, I want to give points to Kyla for annotating. Where'd you guys go? Did you leave? We saw the back of the Samia and D'Angeli's masks. How did you go? How did you miss that? We're on Nearpod and we're annotating. God, I love this class. Guys, Samia just wrote, God, I love this class. I'm scoring. I'm like winning. I'm winning at life right now. Okay, so points for everyone, extra points for D'Angeli and Samia for showing us their mask. Does every, anyone else wanna show their mask and ask for feedback, whole group, before we move on as we're getting ideas? Because so much of today is about getting ideas. Please finish annotating and hit submit. Please finish annotating and hit submit. Dun, 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 dun. 
Dun, dun, dun. Sanchez, sorry guys, I'm just doing attendance. I don't mean to not talk right now, but I want you guys to like, make sure you annotate and hit submit and I need to catch up on attendance. Okay, the Wyborn mask is cool. Can you unmute and elaborate? Yeah, oh, Alpro, you should catch up. Yeah, go, go D'Angeli. It's, um, it's a character from Coraline and there's a mask that kind of looks like that. I think it looks cool. Oh, which one is it? Can you just- The one with like the black eyes, they kind of look like um buttons uh one sec let me find it black eyes is it in the middle it's the third row in like in the middle oh this one yeah oh yeah that was sasha ramirez's she won animo voices when she was a senior last year yeah hers is good she spent a lot of time on it and notice that she also can i zoom in she also painted metaphors on too. So guys, like, and you could see, you can see different values in her mask, like in the horns and stuff. She's got light and dark pinks. She's got light and dark purples. She's got similar color families. So please like ask for feedback right now. You know, like at, like that is what's supposed to happen. Art is supposed to happen in a community. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on. You just make sure you hit submit. Points to Juan for annotating. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Kyla. Awesome, Kyla. Way to always participate. Angel, I'm looking to see if you're annotating. Are you annotating? Points for Rachel Copera. Who's that? We should give her a lot of points. She's always on Nearpod. Sama, yeah, liking the class. That's cool. Guys, if you ever don't like the class and you have suggestions, you gotta let me know because like, you know, we all trying to learn in here. The most important teachers in the world are students, in my opinion, because you guys are always changing. Thank you, Brian, for always participating. Thank you, Alexis. So can we, as we close this one activity, can we still change our math? You could curse in your promise, just don't curse so much. I once had a kid, every other word, he said the F word. He was like, F this and F that, don't do that. Okay, but like, you know, we're gonna do a rehearsal in class for our promise. So we'll be able to minimize your cursing to a strategic poetic level. Not that I support cursing, but you know how it is. Kids, kids sometimes wanna like make a point. All right, so, can we think about our next steps? Sometimes in order to figure out our next steps, we need each other. So I'm gonna play one song right now. And during that song, you are going to give people a comment. So you see on Nearpod right now, you can't draw on it, right? But I just want everyone to see it on both screens. We are gonna go to Seesaw and you will get a point for commenting on someone's mask. I'm gonna give you one song to do this assignment. If you give a comment, you'll get a star. So, for, so far, Juan Sevilla, Alvaro, Abigail, Samaya, Remy, I've heard them giving comments, right? So you will get extra stars if you give a comment. Start with a compliment. I love the fact that your mask is painted and clearly has metaphors. One suggestion I would give is for you to add different values or add a horn or add, a, um, add some teeth here, right? Or I would love it if you da, 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 maybe clean up the painting, okay? So you are going to go ahead on my way to Seesaw, get some points, all right? I like hearing that, Jose, that you're on your way to Seesaw. Go on over there, go to the Seesaw, y'all, okay? So in class all year, we've been learning this app so we can build community. So you are commenting on each other's work. Don't compare, just comment. Get inspired. Nice.
Comment on each other. Nice, Jose. There's beauty and imperfections. Love yourself. Here we go, y'all. Okay, points for D'Angeli. She's doing a comment. Lift each other up. Nice, Samia. Way to post that mask. Ooh, I love this. Ooh, Alvaro started. Way to go, Alvaro. Get it. Okay, I'm going to click refresh. You got flower? Yeah, white flower. Okay, I'm going to click refresh. Give those comments. You got a frame on your pod. Here we go. Let's do it again. And hitting refresh. Way to do it, Kyla. Yes. Nice. Thank you, Jose. You can give you can give a suggestion. Way to go, Kyla. Thank you, D'Angeli, for commenting. Gonna hit refresh again. See, saw, comment, lift each other up. Ooh, Alvaro, looking good. Do you think you could add some add-ons? Add some add-ons, yeah? Points for Samia. Hey, Ms. you need white flower, right? Yeah, thanks for asking. Yeah, you need white flower. There's some at the school if you need it. You need me to hook you up? Nah, I told my mom. I think she's going to bring me some. Yeah, most kitchens have it. Like, often I think I don't have it, but then I can find it in a back cabinet. Yeah, white flour, and then it's like one cup white flour and two cups water. And you, th you're, you guys are gonna think it's too watery, but it's fine. And then you have the newsprint or the newspaper and you dip it in strips. And then you add, you can use recyclables and cans and forks to like build on and add things to make your mask more, even more three-dimensional. Okay, anyone else on these comments? I'll check again at the end of class but we really want to keep this culture, thank you points for Shirley, of lifting each other up and also giving suggestions. We need each other, guys. We really need each other to be successful. So I'm transitioning out of this activity. I will check Seesaw in a second. If you haven't um, given constructive feedback, please do. Again, in the deck, there is a resource for how to give constructive feedback. If you're doing your final project and lifting each other up, giving constructive feedback, how am I not going to pass you? Right? It's all about community. It's all about relationships. So again, I'm redropping the class materials in the chat, the Nearpod in the deck. Okay. Rocking and rolling with our project. Let's keep moving. As we transition, I just wanted to um, draw your attention to the rubric again. Teachers give rubrics. Rubrics are map, maps. I was going to say rubrics are masks. Rubrics are maps. And if you click this 2021 mask rubric, you'll find hyperlinks to all things useful, right? You see mask examples. They're hyperlinked right there. You got the whole YouTube playlist. So this is a great resource to reference the rubric and it is attached to your Google Classroom async assignment for tomorrow. If you need to like dial it back and do the thinking maps, you got the ABC charts in there, the circle maps, the cause and effect map. Um, maybe, maybe you never do the identity box, you know, and you want to loop back and you want to do that. You got past decks. So all sorts of things. 
You also have miss, you have the color wheel assignment to help you with different values, right? We just talked about how some of the masks are missing different values. That was the point of that assignment. So you click that and then different patterns and designs. If you haven't opened this resource yet, I really would. So much of success in life in 2021. Uh, this one you mean? Is this the one you're talking about? Like Miss Hibbler's video? Acrylic painting techniques with Hibbler. Yeah, that this is, yeah, so this is Miss Hibbler. She's, and first you could do this whole thing and I'll give you points. I'll give you so many points if you go through and you do this practice exercise with her. Right guys, this is a great thing to do during academic prep. And you could go ahead, you could do this right in your sketchbook right, and follow her lesson, right? And then you could discover which, how you wanna paint your mask and have more details. So many or little many, so many points. Uh, so many, but it's kind of like, but when we think about our grades, everyone, to be completely clear, it's like, what were the big projects? The still life, the self-portrait, Identity box, mask. Still life, self-portrait, identity box, mask, right? So we, you, we really wanna do so many, like that's what you're doing, but you can't, like, you gotta practice art. Remember we say practice makes perfect? So check out that video. Thank you, Jose, I gotta give you points for all of your questions. So making sure I'm giving, throwing you those classwork points your way. Okay, so where are we? So go ahead and do this checklist. Circle anything you're missing, and better yet, write your next steps in the chat. Thank you, everyone who's in the deck. Again, here are the classroom resources. So what are we doing? During asynchronous time, right? During asynchronous time this week, you are building add-ons. You are adding values, you're adding details, you're using the rubric and all the hyperlinks to improve your art, right? And you keep posting progress to Seesaw. You post a photo of your mask, I can give you some async points. I have evidence that you're at home, you're doing artwork, you're making improvements. But according to a calendar, our big to-do this week is to work on your slides. Right, so we're finishing our mask, we're working on our slides. Now, I can imagine me being in person and everyone's like, slides, what? Don't stress out. You've been working on the slides this entire time. So the slides are right here, right? You got your slides right there. This is your slides for your presentation. You click there. Go ahead, you click it, and I can find your name. You could find your name. So look, last edit was made by Samaya, right? I could see who's working and who's not. Jose Rojas worked on the 17th. Juan Sevilla has been working on it, right? We could see Alexis has been working on his slides. America, Sinai, right? But some of you, look, some of you haven't touched this deck since May 4th. It has been an assignment for you to work on your slides. How do you find your slides, right? Well, Ms. Hibbler taught us this very nifty technique. You click Control F, goes to find in the document. Control F, and I'll put in the chat. Control F, right? We're in the slide presentation. You click Cortez or Leslie, hit Enter. And then it should take me right to Leslie's final. Like this is like where you should put your identity box in here. You should put your color draft in here and your thinking maps. If you're like, oh my gosh, this is too much. We've been working on all of this since March, right? You got all of this since March. So you find your slides and you got to do all the work at the end. And you type your final promise here. So make sure you're kind of like aware that you are putting photos of all of your work during this unit in here. Do I have any questions on your slides? 
Thank you, Kyla, for signing in and Jose for signing in here. Let's give you some points for being totally with us. Jose, points. Do we have any questions? Ooh, we got Samaya just signed in. Nice. I see Angel Valencia. Right? So why? Why do we have this giant deck, right, where we all put, we're all going to put our identity boxes in our mask? Why? Because so we could save time when we're presenting, okay? So when you see asynchronous assignment, clean up your slides, that's what you're doing, right? You're finding and you are putting all your facing history. If you're like, oh my God, what's this? Human behavior. These are the negative things you wanna leave behind on the left. On the right, these are metaphors representing positive things. This is a great way to get ideas for your mask. Right? Like you could like put pictures in here. If you're stuck, I want to add on to your mask. This is actually a scaffold for your mask. So check it out. I now see Brian in there. I see Alexis in there. Make sure you're working on your slides. Okay, so that's like a big lift for the week. Okay, moving on. Thank you everyone who's doing our checklist. I'm gonna skip this activity because we've had so much conversation. But just remind every remember remind everyone the world breaks us all. And afterwards, we're strong in the broken places. So we are talking about what our mask means in front of an audience. Why must we talk about how we are changing and opening up our hearts in front of a community, right? Like, why are we doing that? If you remember, if you look back to like, like let's like take our unit whole circle activate prior knowledge. If you look back, remember we started our year talking about this. Knowing ourselves is the beginning of wisdom. Knowing ourselves is the reason, like how we leave the cave, right? Really facing our history, facing ourselves, discovering our voice, taking off our mask. We started the year by sharing our hearts. And now we go deeper. Yes, Samaya, we help each other. Right, so the open-ended question that I'm gonna open on Nearpod is why does it sometimes take a community to help each other to tell their story? Why does it sometimes take a community to help each other tell their story? Why do we need art and drama to help our, us face our history? Right, so let's open up that open-ended question on Nearpod for a second, we'll pause. We'll pause for like a short song. So why do we need each other? Why do we need each other? Why do we need to say our promise in a group? And then think back to Seesaw, right? We need feedback. Why do we need to turn our cameras on and ask for help? Why do we need community? Why do we need each other to help find ourselves? Why do other people give us strength? In life, you need to surround yourself with the right people. That is the key. So Sami says, does anyone want to unmute and talk about their answer as people are typing? I would love to hear someone unmute. Can you unmute, Jose? Explain your answer. Hump? What does hump mean? D'Angeli says some people may not feel supported or comfortable enough without a community to tell their story. Art is a way to tell your story without words. D'Angeli, I'm going to paste that in my journal. I love that quote. Anyone else on this answer? Only 12% participation on your, where did everyone go? 
Do you all leave your computers? Guys, you got to like, ask a question. Samaya, you want to explain your answer? Sure. Okay, you're on. You want me to read my response? You can, you can read it or you, you can describe it. I can read it. Okay. It sometimes takes a community to help our, help us tell our stories because emotion struck. Sometimes we are so messed up when we need people. We need people to let us know it's okay and we're not alone. Also, sometimes we don't want to accept the truth because truth hurts. And we need a community to make us feel like we're not judged, but we are loved. Wiggles! Zinkles! It's been really nice to see so many of you grow during distance learning. Alexis, you want to share yours? Mr. Diaz. Unmute, Mr. Diaz. You got this. But when a community encourages them to speak up, they feel empowered. Very powerful, Mr. Diaz. We need art and drama to help us face our history by making it more easier to face them, like in a play or a painting, right? It's a different language, art and drama, right? Sometimes like it's, it's hard to put our truth into words. That's why we need the arts, y'all. That's why we need the arts. Art can say what words cannot. You can quote me on that. Art can say what words cannot sometimes. Okay, I'm just giving my points. Please hit submit if you haven't already. And you know, we all need support. support. So if you're kind of like, okay, why is the sophomore promise a public thing? I hope that answered this question. Please take a moment and circle where we are going, circle when we are presenting, circle when we are presenting. You feel that, I love that. Circle when we are presenting and circle what you're focusing on during academic prep and async time. Circle when we are presenting and then circle what we are focusing on during academic prep time and async time. Okay, Juan, don't circle the whole week, right? Because the, there's a point to this. I don't want people scheduling their COVID shot. I want you to get your COVID shot, but I don't want you to schedule it on the day you're supposed to give your sophomore promise, right? Thank you, Samia, for circling the, the day. Thank you, D'Angeli. So this is technically a slide work week, but can we still add details to our mask? Can we still construct metaphors? Can we still do that? Yes, right? Like it's such an exciting time. Can you go back? Let's say you never did the thinking map or the color draft. Can you go back and add those to your slides? Yes, yes, right? But I, but I tell you guys right now, catch up, really use your async time to catch up because it's coming around the corner. We will be working in class next week. You could see the, the thing on presenting our promises out loud. So your slides need to be done. If anyone wants extra credit, you can present on Friday to be a model for us. And I'll give you extra credit. You just need to let me know. Osamiya, yeah, you're gonna present your slides on Friday? Oh, I love it. That's so smart because guess what? You will get extra points. You will get feedback right away and you'll be closer to done with your project, so you'll have time to go back and do old artwork. Maybe you could pick up some canvases, do some paintings, raise your grade even more. It's never too late, guys. It's never too late to grow. Can we give her some twinkles? She's gonna present on Friday. All right, and uh, let me turn my music off for a second. Before we go into breakout rooms to get one-on-one -on -one feedback and to show we are working, I just wanted to show you some of these a little bit bigger on the screen. And I don't know, my eye is really drawn to the one on the right. 
just because of the Holocaust presentation of bending towards the sun. Look at, notice how the like cardboard that they glued on, it's kind of crinkly, but it sort of looks cool. It's beautiful, but we see like those broken places. You like this first one up here? Sun represents leaving the cave and going towards hope. The first one up here. Yeah, so remember, just remember you can steal ideas from past students. For me, when I see these toilet paper rolls on the top, it really, to me, like looks like, um, like this person has a problem that, that they can't get out of their mind and they want to leave it behind. So if you want to show burdens and life experiences, having those rolls is really powerful. Did I show you guys how I put the toilet paper rolls on? I can't remember. Did I do that in this class? Did I show it to you? If you go to the YouTube playlist on the rubric, right? And if you scroll down, if you go to the green, all the green are the add-ons, right? So you could go ahead, you could click video A, and in real time, you can see me adding onto the mask. You see me cutting these uh, toilet paper rolls, right? Go, go. You could see me twisting and constructing it. And I'm talking throughout the whole thing. And then you could see me actually cutting the tabs. So this is a step, that, like a lot of people like never did this part of your mask. Alvaro, are you looking up, right? Like, are we all looking at the screen? Because a lot of times we miss stuff. Are you all out there? Are you seeing this? Right, so you could see how we can make eyebrows and other things and figure that out. Or cutting on ears or extensions or wings. You get a lot of ideas from this, right? And then you could go down. So step two, find video B. They're all in green. So you could click on attaching, make it bigger, and you could get kind of like ideas of how to attach. So you could see how those tabs help, but how we need the masking tape to go ahead and reinforce it. Right, and there's even extra glue. I like painting extra glue on there to really add those details. Right, so hopefully we're looking at the screen and we're using resources. Does that help you guys who are stuck? Mm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's go over some breakout room rules. I'm gonna open up this open-ended question as I'm working on putting you in breakout rooms. So guys, A, B, C, D, E. Here are five masks that showed up on Seesaw over the weekend. What next steps would you give to these five artists? That is the open-ended question. What next steps would you give to A, B, C? I want you to give next steps for three of them. It's kind of like a mini, mini little check for understanding quiz. So please tell me on Nearpod, what next steps would you give to these students? And I feel like we have that thing where people leave class early. They think class is done. No, it's not done. All right, and then please right now, let me know if you wanna be in breakout rooms with a certain person. Let me know if you want to be in breakout rooms with a certain person, please. America. Okay, got it? If I, you don't let me know, I'm going to just put you one-on-one -on -one and hold, I'll go straight to you. I'm going to go straight to the people who I don't see a mask for first. I'm going to see what's up. And then I'm going to hop around as quickly as I can. So Samaya says, America, anyone else have a request for breakout rooms? America's in 19, Samaya is in 14. Okay, you guys are in the same room. Anyone else have a request for breakout rooms? Okay, hurry up, click submit. Anyone wanna unmute and share their feedback? What feedback would they give to these artists? B, 
based on everything we talked about today, what feedback would you give to these artists? This is a mid-project critique moving forward. Kyla, can you unmute, share yours? You said to like read it out loud? Yeah. Um, okay. I put, I love the metaphors and based on a rubric and past example, just be creative, add different values and metaphors. Would you tell them to like construct add-ons, Kyla? Like build things out? Yeah, like just add on like metaphors, I guess. Like different. What like are some things that they could add on? Like what could they build out? What do you think based on past examples we've seen? Um, maybe horns or something. Um, or some like wings. What do you think like could, well, could D add like some flower petals out? What do you think? Like maybe some yellow flowers behind, what? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Cause we got all the repetition of the yellow right here. Wouldn't that like make it big? Or maybe some of those triangles out. Like she's got the triangles right here. Mm -hmm. Maybe she can have some color triangles out. Yeah, I think that's good. That's a good idea. Okay, anyone else want to share what they would see, say? Okay, give twi uh, Kyla some twinkles. Anyone else want to share what next steps? Oh, yeah, Juan. All right, he's giving. Woo! Yeah, yes. Dun, dun, dun. Add more metaphors and symbols, says Leslie. Okay, points for Leslie. Anyone else want to unmute, share their feedback? Remember, we said we need each other. You guys said it. America, you there? D'Angeli, Alexis. More eyebrows and facial hair. Oh, okay. I like that suggestion. So again, like we need each other. That's one of the like enduring understandings from this lesson. So please let me know in breakout rooms if you wanna be with someone, you know? Like to help each other, to lift each other up. Okay, so Lise, Jose. I love feedback when we work together. Right, so Angel, do you wanna be in a room with someone? Is it late for add-ons? Um, no, it's not late for add-ons. It's never too late, Jose. That's like the point of the class. We're kind of like rinse, lathering, repeating. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, no one else said that they want to be, yeah, America, you didn't answer on Nearpod. Okay, I'm going to put you all in rooms now. Please respond to me. Let me know what's up. Let me know how I can help you pass the class, finish this mask, and say a promise. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Josue, are you there? Josue, are you there? Looking in the chat. Josue Santos, are you there? Josue Santos, are you there? Anthony, how's it going? Anthony Ponce, are you there? Anthony Ponce, how's it going? Are you there? Are you doing your art? Cameras on, everyone. Broadcasting a reminder. Show your art. 
You can be working on a color draft. Broadcasting reminder. Okay, I don't see anything in the chat from you, Mr. Ponce. Anthony Ponce, Anthony Ponce, no response. Are you there? Okay, where else am I going? Mr. Bloss logged out, it would appear. Logged out. Hmm. Is Amanda still here? Amanda, are you there? Amanda, are you there? How can I help you finish your mask? Are you there, Amanda? What's going on? Check in the chat. I saw your slides, Amanda. I have notes here that you're doing your slides. How's the mask coming? Mm, 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 mm. Let's see. Remy. Remy, will you answer me? Are you there? Yeah. How's it going? Fine. You have your mask supplies? Yeah. Are you going to do it? Yeah. Okay. How can I help you? I don't know. Have you started? Uh, not really. Do you have time to start this week? Yeah. Oh, so maybe start this week, maybe like build the base today. Okay. Do you need the YouTube playlist? Uh, no. You good? You know what to do. Yeah. Okay. So make sure you post it ASAP, okay? Okay. Okay, I'll let Miss Boteo know that you're going to post it. Okay? Okay. Cool. Do you know what your promise is? Mm, no. How do you want to get better? How do you want to grow? I don't know. Do you want to be more hopeful like Rita and Leslie were talking about? I guess. I think all of us can grow by looking for light. So you could do something with the sun. You could do something with like choosing not to see things. Why don't you do a draft and send it over to me, okay? Okay. If you do your thinking map, that might help you. Okay. So the thinking maps are hyperlinked in the rubric. Please let me know if you need to find that but the rubric is posted to Google Classroom with all those hyperlinks. Okay? Okay. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. See, Nae, you good? See, Nae, you good? Sinai, are you okay? Mm. Mm. Abigail, how's it going? What's up, Abigail? How's your mask going? 
You there? Are you there, Abigail? Abigail, are you there? I'm going to move on. Leslie, how's the mask coming? Good, I'm adding things to it. Cool. Giving you a star. Okay, let me know if you need feedback. Do you need feedback now? Do you want to show me what you got? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Like through the camera or like see You can show me what you got. Yeah. Turn your camera on. Yes. Okay. A lot of people log out. What's going Oh, I love it. Are you kidding me? Can I take a screenshot? Wait, how you? It's because it looks with the camera thing looks weird. Oh, uh, here, face the light. Like, face the window. Can you turn your laptop or no? Like, turn your mask. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now, now, now turn it towards the camera. Okay, that looks so cool. Okay, smile, smile, smile. Big smile. Go on. Go on. Go on. Take your hand away. Is that Jenny? It's Brenda. Hi, Brenda. How's it going? Good. And what about you? Good. Your sister's Mac is sick as all. Get out is awesome. I know. I mean, we're the best. What, what, what do you think, miss? Yeah, of course. What do I expect from the Cortez sisters? Exactly, miss. Hey, Leslie, can, can you come by campus, like text me or something, and pick up some canvases? Yeah. I want you to do some paintings for me. Okay. Oh my god. I have some I have some canvases. I think you could do some pretty stuff. Okay, thank you. But when? Okay, I don't know. When can you come? Um, hold up. Ma, ¿puedo ir a a la escuela today? Um, today? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me just make a note. Okay, do you have my number? Okay, I send it to you in the chat. Let me know. Jenny has it too. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Please, if you haven't done so already, please do your exit slip. What are your next steps for async time? What are your next steps for async time? Please drop that in. And do that next steps. List everything you gotta do to make your mask better, okay? So everyone, welcome back. A lot of people didn't respond to me. <laughs> it was so sad. Thank you everyone who did. Uh, thank you, Leslie, for showing me your mask. That was fire. You gotta let me know if I could put that in a PowerPoint. It's amazing. Um, please go ahead and please make sure you post updates to your mask and you finish your promise slides. And then we will see Samaya present on Friday. Um, and then let me know if you need materials, if you need some of these leaves. And let's go, let's do fire, let's go. I'll hang back for questions. Angel says he's gonna make his mask and make it look dope and make it work, make up his homework. Yeah, and Leslie, can you put that mask on Seesaw? If you guys like wanna see a dope mask, 
check check out Leslie Cortez's mask. She's hiding stuff from us. She's hiding her metaphors. Um, yeah, Leslie Cortez, you can loop back and do like your thinking map maybe and your color draft and see what else. But your mask looks pretty settled. Okay. Um, Alexa says, I will finish my mask, add eyes, nose, lips, and facial hair. After that, I am done. Are you though? We'll probably give you some feedback because we lift each other up. Guys, may you be happy and healthy. May you love others freely. See, Miss Hibbler wasn't here. It wasn't that bad, right? Sorry, she's not here. Namaste, everyone. Namaste. May you go do art and come to office hours if you need help. Remember, art continues. Call the school if you need your supplies. It's never too late. It is never too late. Miss, for my presentation on Friday, it's just a slide, right? Yeah, but you got to put your mask, you got to put a photo of your mask in the slides. Okay. What about, um? because I didn't do my um, identity box. So what do I do for that? Um, do you, you could do a digital one. Like you could do like a slide version of your identity box. What do you think about okay. that? I can try, yeah. Because, you know, then, then it's like more of a reason for me to raise your grade. And it gives you a chance to like loop back and be like, wow, I really took off my mask. And now maybe it's clearer, like who mm -hmm. you are. Like who is this person you've discovered? And that could be part of your promise. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's rock and roll. <laughs>